Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. About five years ago, a TV series called Outrageous Fortune started in New Zealand. I was in Japan at the time, so of course I didn't see it. But I kept hearing about it and how good it was. So when I came back, I thought, well, everyone keeps saying how good it is, so it must be good. So I bought the DVD of season one, and it's not good. It's amazing. It's the best TV series I've ever seen, and now I'm the biggest Outrageous Fortune fan ever. I've watched the first four seasons, and I'm about to start watching season five, which is the last season that's on DVD. So if you're looking for something to watch, go and buy these DVDs. You can get them on eBay, I just went and checked, and I cannot imagine how it would be possible for you not to love it. So today we're studying the theme song from Outrageous Fortune. It's by a band called Hello Sailor and it's called Gutter Black. It starts like this. Lying in the gutter, I cut the cord from my mother. She pat me on the head and say, go to sea boy, get to sea man. Not exactly sure what this song is about, but anyway, let's have a look at the word gutter. A gutter is a channel at the edge of a road where water collects and is carried away to drains. And the gutter is the bad social conditions or lack of morals sometimes connected with the lowest level of society. An example of how you can use the gutter is when someone thinks you're talking about sex but you're actually not. For example, if you're discussing which shape you prefer some objects you're designing and you say, I prefer them long and hard, and someone says, hmm, I bet you do, you can say, oh, get your mind out of the gutter. So in the song, when he says, lying in the gutter, he could be meaning an actual gutter. Maybe he was stumbling drunk along the road and he fell over and passed out in the gutter. Or he could be meaning it more figuratively. Maybe his life isn't going very well at the moment. Kia ora. in Stick News today, the Mayor of Auckland says that he wants New Zealand to host the Olympics in 2020. John Banks is a 63-year-old New Zealand politician. He's currently the mayor of Auckland City. A few days ago, he suggested that Auckland should be the host of the 2020 Olympic Games. And that was Stick News for Friday the 2nd of July. Kia ora. Today's word is tuck, old-fashioned British English informal, food, especially sweets, etc., eaten by children at school. I don't think the word tuck is used like that in New Zealand, but we do have things called tuck shops. The other day I went for a walk and I found a rugby club and the club had a window with a sign above it saying tuck shop. And I think this is the typical kind of setup that you'd call a tuck shop in New Zealand. It's a really simple shop, usually just a window like this, at a school or camp or sports club and usually selling mainly snacks. Did you hear England got a new coach? Really? Yeah, it picked them up from Heathrow on Tuesday morning. What does this line mean? Yeah, what do they mean by a cord? What's that? So, how could you cut it yourself? I cut the cord from my mother. I guess they're talking about an umbilical cord. That's the cord that connects a baby to its mother. Um, yeah, you couldn't. So maybe they're meaning it more in a figurative sense, like he's become independent. Extremely sad or disappointed. A. Gut. B. Gutless. C. Gutted. D. Gutter. E. Gutteral. Gutted. The stomach or belly. Gut. Produced in the throat. Gutteral. 
A channel at the edge of a road where water collects and is carried away to drains. Gutter, lacking courage or determination. Gutless. And that was The Daily English Show. Don't forget to go to thedailyenglishshow.blogspot.com to check the script for today's show. I hope you have an excellent weekend coming up and welcome home to Ricky Herbert who arrived back in the country today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.